On today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to sell Webflow in 2021, including a new resource from Webflow and tips from me. Stay tuned. Hey, designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we cover design, web design, web flow, and freelancing. And today I wanna to share with you, Webflow just recently released a new resource to help us designers sell Webflow to our clients. I wanna show this to you, review this to you, but also then give you tips on how to do better than this and uh, become actually a professional at selling Webflow to your clients. So let me share you first what they've done. So they've basically, uh, if you wanna see this and we'll link this below, this is called webflow.com pitch. Basically, it's customizing a, a presentation, kind of like a pitch presentation um, for you. So um, you're gonna put in your detail, you're gonna create customized presentation, and basically it's gonna create a whole presentation experience, and you can, uh, you know, write your client name here. So, hey, John, uh, John, and then we think there's a better way for your website. You upload a screenshot of their website, and basically you can see there's actually a very nice presentation. The whole interface here was built with Webflow, so that's pretty cool. And they're basically demonstrating how cool Webflow is, and each one of these slides is basically a feature, right? Custom interactions, uh, you can see them, um, code and interactions, you know, anything you need, um, migration is easy. So basically, they're covering all the features here, and that's very, very cool. You should, first of all, you should familiarize yourself if you're into building with Webflow. And if you wanna sell Webflow to your clients, basically you need to be an expert on all Webflow features, and they cover kind of like the most uh, high-level things here. So it's very, very cool. Um, and basically, you can review this, and then you can go ahead and you can actually send this and you can share this um, and they will get kind of a customized presentation experience tailored with their name and their images and that's pretty, pretty cool and neat and it might be useful for you. When I've seen this, I thought, wow, this is really, really cool. However, I think personally from my experience selling both my services as a designer and selling Webflow to clients, I would not use this specific approach to sell Webflow to clients because as the name says, it's it's called pitch. And there's a difference between pitching and selling. And let me explain basically what I think. Pitching is when you come to somebody and you you have a whole spiel that you're gonna talk about, you know, just like this presentation. Check out what we do. We have this feature and this feature and this feature. And you just talk to them and, and try to just sell it to them. And people, in general, you know, we're very selling resistant. When somebody comes and try to pitch to us, immediately we resist, we're bored, I don't know what he's talking about, I'm not interested in this, and so forth. Now, if you want to be good at selling, which I think is required for any designer, whether you're gonna run your own business and be a freelancer, or even if you're working within a team, you have to know how to sell your ideas and you know the tools that you wanna use and whatnot. And so, you have to know how to sell. And the way to sell, and any sales boy will tell you this, is you need to ask questions. Instead of just going and pitching somebody, you start by asking questions. So if I would meet a client, I would not start by selling Webflow. I would start by asking questions like, hey, what platform are you using right now? And then what's your experience editing the website? What's, what do you do when you need to add a new page? What do you need, do when you need to change a title? What do you do when your traffic scales? What do you do when you're trying to optimize conversion rates? What do you do when you need to? And you ask them all of these different questions and then they answer to you and then you start understanding it, where are the uh, the pain points. So for example, if they will tell you something like, oh, you know, we're using uh, WordPress and so forth, and you'll tell them, oh, so what's, what's your experience with, you know, uh, up, making sure that everything is up to date and maintaining plugins and security and all that. So they will start saying, oh, yeah, you know, uh, this is a hell, we have to pay somebody for maintenance and we have to update all the time and then there's bugs and then our website falls down. And now they're actually telling you about a pain point. Now, when somebody tells you about a pain point, now you can offer a solution. Now you can tell them, you know, the platform I use a lot of the time, Webflow, you don't actually have plugins. You don't even have to update anything. It's always up to date. It's always top secured and, and so forth. And now you can talk about something that's really interesting to them. You know, 
uh, for example, in the presentation, they started with interactions. Maybe my, the clients that I'm working with doesn't care at all about interactions. And you know, just me talking about interaction is going to sidetrack the whole dis discussion from what they truly care about, which might be security or something like this, uh, or the pain of editing a website or something like this. So. I think it's really, really important to understand by asking questions, where is their real pain point? And then presenting the platform, if you think it's a good solution, presenting a solution to their pain point. And from my experience, when you do that, a lot of the times, because Webflow is a great solution, a lot of the times Webflow will be able to solve a lot of their problems. Now, I want to say, if you're a good salesman, you will not push <laughs> the, the agenda that you're trying to push at all costs. You are at the end of the day, if you wanna be a trusted consultant uh, with your client, you will help them to do what's best for them. So if a client, and, and that recently happened to me, and you know, I was talking to a person, he was saying, yeah, we are thinking about migrating to uh, Webflow from, you know, uh, we, we have a WordPress website and our website at the moment has, I don't know, 10,000 blog posts and like crazy SEO structure and all of that. And we were thinking about migrating to, uh, to Webflow. And I was like, you know what? Migrating 10,000 blog posts with all of the images and all of that kind of stuff and then maintaining it between all of these, the, the way that you're publishing content, I am not sure that is an ideal solution for you. So I'm trying to think about, because you know, when you're comparing WordPress to like large publishing, essentially it was built for large publishing or, um, or it's possible to do large publishing while it's not necessarily ideal on Webflow. So I'm trying to do what's best for the client versus just push Webflow, whatever the case is. And I think that when you do this, you become trusted by, uh, you know, by the people that you work with. And so when you will actually make the recommendation, I think Webflow is the best solution for this use case, then they will actually trust you and go with it. So this is my suggestion on how to actually sell by being helpful and by trying to understand what the core problem that they're trying to solve. And again, from my experience, for about 90% of the use cases, Webflow ends up being a great solution. So to be able to do that, first, I've mentioned this earlier on, you need to be an expert on all of the different features of a platform. Otherwise, you won't be able to sell them, you know, as a solution to the problems that they actually have. So this is step number one, become an expert on the platform and then ask a question and then suggest solution and just be honest whether if it's not the, the best solution. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you want to become an expert on all of the different features on how to use Webflow and do this the fast and easy way. We have uh, our program, the Webflow Masterclass, which we've helped to train for 4,000 designers now. So you can check that out below this video. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.